the 102nd Met Open Championship, presented by Callaway. The Met Open was first played in 1905 at Fox Hills on Staten Island, and while little is remembered about that championship, Alex Smith would go on to earn his first of a record four titles. Throughout the 1920s and 30s, the Met Open would go on to become one of the most prominent golf championships in the United States. Golf greats including Walter Hagen, Paul Runyon, Gene Saracen, Byron Nelson, and Claude Harmon are just a few of the legendary names that are etched into the prestigious and highly sought after Met Open Trophy. The 102nd edition of the Met Open Championship returns to Hollywood Golf Club in Deal, New Jersey, the site that hosted the second playing of this historic championship over a century ago. We had the second Met Open here in 1906 that was won by George Lowe, uh, and then 1991 with Mike Diffley. It's been very exciting for the members here. I think Hollywood, uh, since uh, the beginning of when Hollywood was established, has very generously offered the golf course and gave back to the game by hosting. This will be the seventh MGA event that we've had since 1906, and the members couldn't be more excited. Hollywood is known by its members as a fun golf course that you can play every day. Having said that, it has the ability to be ramped up for a championship to provide tough conditions. Um, as long as the weather allows it, they should look forward to a tough yet fair test of golf. As we always say at Hollywood, we give you the drive. The fairways are pretty generous. Uh, but again, with the thickness of the rough, the approach shot to these greens is going to be vitally important. Our standout feature here is the bunkers. We have over 170 on property, all in their original location from the original design intent from Walter Travis. After they uh, get over the bunkers and their drastic appearance, they'll notice the greens. The greens are huge. There's a lot of movement in them, and they are a, a lot of fun to play on. There are approximately 12 holes out there. You don't want to go uh, above the hole location, uh, because once you do, it's going to be a challenge to two putt. Two most dramatic holes here are number four, it's a short par three uphill, and number 12, it's a downhill par four. In the fourth hole, we reintroduced a large bunker in the center of the hole, just forward of the green, and from the tee, it looks very daunting. A false front on the front of the green, so it becomes a very small target. While appearing challenging, is not very challenging, there's a lot of room to play over it, there's a lot of room to work around it. On the 12th hole, we reintroduced a lot of the bunkers. It was known as the Heinz 57 hole, Unfortunately, we were only able to introduce 41 of those bunkers back in, 57 being the number that was here in the 20s. When you make it to the 12th tee, you have two options. You can play it down the left-hand side or you can take it over the right cross bunkers. I will know there's advantages to both angles. Some of the longer players might hit a three wood just to get it in play. Uh, there are a lot of different options on that hole and I think that's key to that tee shot. There's a large approach in front of the 12th green which allows a run-up shot. Um, which you can't really take advantage of from the right, but the right does have its benefits. But once you get there, it's a pretty slick green. There's a pocket on the right that you have to stay away from, and there's a bunker on the left that the green falls into, so you have to be very careful with your approach. Uh, the back nine here is an incredible back nine. Uh, 14, very long par four uphill, probably a 260 yard carry to carry the right fairway bunker to a very challenging second shot over water, which is only one of two holes on the golf course that has water on it. 15 is a 185 yard par three to a very narrow green. In 2013, it was enlarged and in the front and the back. So the hole locations become very vital on that hole. 16 through 18, 16 is a very long par four. 470 yards to a green that is extremely challenging. There are a lot of knobs and bumps and tiers on the 16th green, and 17 is a relatively straightforward par three, 190 yards, but it has a hump back in the middle of the green. So again, hole location, the shot into the green, and where you place the ball becomes important. And 18 is a great finishing hole. 440 yards from the back tees with bunkers down the left-hand side. The tee shot becomes very important on 18, but again, it's a very wide fairway. Uh, and the green is relatively flat. So if you can get off a good tee shot, then you would have probably a mid iron in to that green, uh, setting yourself up for a good chance at birdie. The impetus of this golf course is put on the second shot here. So your, your better iron players and your better ball strikers are gonna do very well here. Um, they have to be very accurate and land it in the area of the green where they need to be 
to make the putt for birdie, or even par for that matter. In any tournament, putting is the biggest determinant factor, but if you don't set yourself up for the ability to make putts for 54 holes, it's gonna become very challenging, especially to make par. Follow all the action from the 102nd Med Open Championship presented by Callaway at mgagolf.org and on Twitter and Instagram at mga1897.